really happy to meet you guys again. And last week was a very, very, very wonderful night. Nice uh, we did a lot of setups and uh, markets respond to most 85% to all our setups. Uh, today, because we still have some trades running, um, those who are able to close some trade, fine. Uh, if you still want to hold your trade to hit the target that we are expecting, you can also make sure they lock in some profits. Then you wait. Then we see the way forward. Now, if, without wasting my time, as you know, my name is Kofi and I'm the founder of FX Exchange Academy. Without wasting my time, let's go straight to our analyst for coming week. Uh, first, we start with DXY. As I said, DXY, USD, DKK, DKK, that's a Dutch currency, is the same as DSY. They correspond, they move in the same positive trend. So you can use any of them to make your analyst to see the strength of the US dollar. Now, uh, today, with the old setup I'm still working on, I haven't made any changes on it. So we should make sure that um, you also look at it very carefully before you make any changes. Some may ask, why am I not drawing my support and resistance here? See, I don't rely on four hours charts, support and resistance, daily charts. Normally, I use the daily and the weekly chart to check my support and resistance to get a clear areas the market can be rejected from. So as you can see, you see all this line, these areas are noise and all this side is where market is being right. So people think uh, 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 there's a break below this uh, breakout, but this is just a test. So possibility of market continuing the trend is also high. So that's why you see me still looking for a buy trade here. Now, the only reason I told you guys that in this chart, I'm only looking for a buy trade. I'm only looking for a sell trade. I only look for a sell trade when market is here or below this trend line. That's my setup. If it comes here, I'm looking for a buy trade. If we even break below this level, I will still wait for to get a buy trade because this setup is still a buy trade. It's not a sell. So that's why I'm saying that we are still looking for a buy trade. We are not looking for a sell trade in this market. We want to look for a sell up here and a sell below the trend line. So without wasting my time, market break out from a resistance, turn into support, break, retest, break again. Now market has break and close below this level. What I'm expecting that in the forward charts on Sunday, if done or Monday done, we see market testing this level again and pushing up again. Now, one thing you can realize that let the forwards close and give you the price action. If forwards candlestick close and gives you a price action of rejection candlestick like this kind of candlestick, this is when you look for a buy trade and you can really hold on to your trade. If market break below, you can prevent uh, further losses and this one the risk is very low so you won't waste my time on it now let's go to commodities currencies and see whether we're able to get any setup from the commodity currency now our setup on gold is still standing it haven't hit the level that we are expecting so we are still holding on to gold setup and you are still waiting to see what market is going to do as you can see this is a, a trend line market test and test uh, yesterday again market push up now there's still strong resistance at this zone where you see the blue line now if anytime you see the blue line and the market get there you see a rejection this is where you start opening your trade so that uh, you'll be able to get good signals in the market um this is where we are looking for a sell trade this level i'm expecting market to test this trend line as it's not broken yet. Some others are saying there's a flag. Yes, it's a flag. Well, well 
if you do like this, you see the market is flat. Yeah, but I only consider a buy trade. I will consider a buy trade when market is market have broken above this zone and have tested this trend line and it's going up. That's when I will look for a buy trade. But for now, then my stock structure is for a sell, and I'm still going to look for a sell. So gold, this is where our entry will be. Now this zone. Where the sea blue color is, the blue line is all areas that you can open your trade. Don't wait until it gets the place I'm talking about. These zones are all the areas you can open the trade. Okay, so you don't need to worry anything. Just I'm making this zone so that you can open trade in this zone anywhere that you want, or put your pen in order anywhere. Now WTI setup was really nice i told you guys we are going to get a pullback to test this level so everybody should put a pen on that and as you can see i put a pen on that there and market respected that level and push up i opened another trade and i think i opened this one right there because i know it's still a downtrend i don't want to worry much about it so what i'm expecting is that uh we get a push down to this level okay get a push down to this level so i'm still waiting to see more for in wti so that's why i didn't make any changes on the wti now what you should expect that you'll be seeing consolidation happen if you can get a pullback at this zone and you see any transaction this way you can open a sell trade or if market push back all the way back to this level or here here too you can also look for a sell trade and you can still sell but for now since we are still in trade in wti uh, we don't need to move further still we need to hold and see the way forward euro usd as i said is still in the Re resistance zone and we are still expecting the market to push back down and so as you can see if you see any price action for what's happening over here you can look for a sell trade and possibly you can hold on your trade market to hit this trend line this is my, what i'm expecting uh with my analyst so from here as i said all this zone i'm still looking for a sell trade I will look for I will only look for buy trade when markets make some changes in this trend line. So I'm still waiting to see what market is going to do. And there's been there hasn't been any no changes in the trend, so you can also update your setup, put your penny on order there when market hits. The stop loss can be somewhere here. I can I made an update on a chat on a telegram group. And I think people to open their trade here. So still, we are still good in Euro USD. Let's go to USD card. USD card, as I said, I mentioned that it's going to pull back to test this level and push up, and it did. As the people made some, who made some hundred pips, and it feels to move again due to the news that came. But I'm, I'm still expecting a continuation of the analog trend. So if we can get a push down to test this previous resistance telling to support, we'll be able to get market to push up, up all the way to 1.3 CCS. Then today we will be able to get double top, double bottom, wherever I can. So we can put pen in order here, but this is still going up. Nizan USD did not test the level that we're expecting. We are still waiting is that to test the uh, broken broken support and into resistance that if market push to test this level will continue to sell all the way down to zero point six four two five two. USCHCHF is still in play and still it didn't hit the level that we are expecting. We are still waiting for it to hit for us to open a, our buy trade. All this zone. You can put pin pen orders there. It's a broken resistance 
loyalty support and sustained resistance and therefore we are still good to go in this trade. This is a broken resistance, sorry. USCHF is a broken resistance and now turn is a support. So therefore, we haven't had any test when the market broke above. So that's why I'm saying that we expect a test. Some people are saying that it's ready for a downtrend. But me, I'm looking for the setup, how, how the trend is moving in the DXY. And that's what I'm going to use to trade. GDP NZD also we're expecting uh, I think I was saying that it's going to sell a buy or something like that but all the same we saw a push up from this zone and uh, if you can get a pullback to this level again you can get a very serious buy pushing up all the way to the top side so we should expect a buy still in GDP NZD at this zone, so you should watch out very well. GDP NZD also uh, looking at this level. I'm still expecting a sell. If it break this level, then that's where I'm going to be for a buy trade. But until then, if market test this level, but what you are going to see, you're going to see a consolidation pullback to test this level and push up to this level. This is where we are going to get. Uh, good sell zone to work on. Now, if we're able to get a sell from this side, market is going to sell all the way down to close this gap. So you should watch out very well. AUD and AUD USD also test the level, push up down, and close our first exit. So I'm expecting more sell, but if we can get a push up to the same level again then we we'll get a double top then we can sell again gdp nzd this is very i don't the setup is very tricky but if you're able to get a price action at this zone this very zone where the 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 1.342227 resistance line is they should very careful to make sure that you don't risk much loss size here you don't open small and wait for the market to push down to see if it's going to go further then you open your main trade but well, for now if you drink above and test you should look for a buy trade it's very it has a lot of setups that's why i'm saying that we should be very careful as you can see it can also push and test this level and continue the uptrend that's why I'm really careful about the level. So if you get a price action here, this way you look for yourself. Okay, don't try to buy when market pull back down to test itself. Now GDP USD also mentioned that it's going to push broke level, push down and test this level. But it's actually pushed by the not come down to test this level now this is a broken resistance we tested a broken nice and support but when market break the trend didn't come back to test this level and when you look at this zone it's a very good zone because markets have really tested level so many times so i'm expecting a second test push so this way this place you can look for itself at this zone and wait for market to test this level if you get a price action you can buy all the way to the top side euro gdp we did an analysis some about two weeks or three weeks ago i made a mention that it's going to sell heavy and it did those who are having trade they are still in trade if you are still in trade it no need to close but we are going to get a pullback, consolidation pullback to test this level. So you should be very careful. You can close your trade and wait for a second open trade. If we didn't get if you don't get a consolidation and break below, this one is starting for more sell in Euro GDP. So here is our target you can put pending order here. 
market is going to recover the losses that made on last week due to the news that happened. GDP cut also, I'm expecting a sell, so we should look for a sell in this zone and it's going to help us to sell more. So as I said, you should watch out for all these levels. These levels are very important levels. Now, GKCHF failed to move up. I don't know whether it's going to come down, but we really may have made a very good trade up. We are expecting markets to continue our trade. If you can get a pullback to test this level again, this is where we start looking for a buy trade. Push all the way up to test the trend line. And this is where, after I test the trend, this is where we start looking for a safe trade. But for now, our focus is on the on the buy side. So we should watch out for this one. Hero AUD is still in our uptrend. So we can get a pullback to test this level. We we'll continue to buy all the way top side to test 1.61214. So we should watch out at this one. Market can test and push up. Now New Zealand card, I said it's going to test the same it did, and it's still fighting over that level. So I'll be, it's, I'll be interested if markets give me a strong buying signal before I can open a trade. But for now, you should be very careful. If you are in trade good, you should hold. Uh, if it break below, you should watch out very carefully before you open trade. But it can break below, it test this level. A push up again. So you should watch out very well. Now, GDP, AUD, those was our very big hits this week. And it pushed up strongly, mm, close to 500 pips. It was very nice. As I said, I told you guys that it's going to push up. Now, where it is, I'm not expecting you to open trade, but I'm expecting you to be smart on this level. Now, what is what we are going to do? We are going to wait for the patient for market to give us a certain signal. But when we can get a certain signal, we can get a very good move in the market. So, as I said, we wait for market to reach that level. Then we look for a sell trade. So for now, that's why I didn't, I didn't add it to our analyst this week because I'm still expecting market to reach the level. Now, we also saw Euro JPY also did not hit the level, so we are still waiting. And USD JPY tested the level we are expecting and pushed down. We are still expecting to go further down, so you should watch out. Euro card, as you can see, is also performed very well. Now, New Zealand did not test the level, but rather also it pushed up, but did not came to the level that we are expecting. Now, AED card, when you see how it is. So, so many setups is still in play. And as you can see, we have a lot of them. You can watch our old videos and realize that most of our setups is still running. As you can see, uh, GDP DKK also did a very wonderful, nice move and tested the same level that we were expecting. So, those who were able to open trade made a lot of profits in this currency. Now, that is all, guys. Only focus on the pairs that I really talked about. The rest of them were just following up on the setups that we did. Uh, so we all need to uh, focus on a lot of pairs. Now, just look at this pairs. Select only two of them or one of them and just put your pen order. As you can see, you only saw that I only focus on one pair of WTI and I traded. The rest of them, I'm just looking at how the setups are going. So, be very careful on how you are guiding your trees. Now, I'm very happy that you guys are really subscribing to my channel and I hope if you are making profit from these signals I'm giving this setup, please leave a comment, send me a message that could if you are making a profit from your setups or if you are making a losses 
he told me, he said, I will know why you are making losses so that I can help you to also gain profit from the market. Now, you should watch out very well, make sure that you always apply a stop loss and make sure that you always use your risk margin. Maybe don't risk too much because the setup is good, but rather risk less and gain more. Because when I give you a signal, I'm giving you a signal that was going to give you 200, 500, 300, 150 pips. I'm not giving you a signal that will give you just 50 pips. I'm more signal. This is swing trading. You place the trade and go and sleep. So thank you very much for this opportunity. And I hope that we are going to talk about this setup next week and see how the whole setup goes. Have a nice day.